Move over face huggers, because it's Trudon in the house. The Jurassic Park franchise has given us a blood-curling menagerie of dinosaurs, such as the iconic Tyrannosaurus Rex, the blind Therizinosaurus, the sickle-clawed Velociraptor, the humongous Gigantosaurus, the T-Rex hunting Spinosaurus, and the scariest of them all, the monstrous Indominus Rex. We've all met these genetic cocktail dinos in the movies, but there's one small but mighty beast that's never made it to the big screen or even television as part of Jurassic Park. It packs a venomous punch, has incredible intelligence, and hunts in herds inside the island of Isla Nublar. It lays eggs on its dead human victims, which kind of reminds us of our extraterrestrial nemesis, the Xenomorphs, and it's none other than the Trudon. Some might say it's the Xenomorph equivalent of the dinosaur world, and let's find out how much of that is true in this deep dive video. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. What is a Trudon? Let's start with its name. The term Trudon itself means wounding teeth, which makes sense since this dino comes with a menacing set of serrated teeth, kind of creepy reptiles, that would fatally wound their prey with repeated bites. In real life, the origin of the Trudon can be traced back to North America during the Cretaceous period, which was some 77 million years ago. Remains of these prehistoric beasts were discovered first in Montana and then in Alberta, but they were believed to be giant lizards until further research confirmed otherwise. The Trudon are smaller dinosaurs, measuring around 10 to 11 feet in length and weighing around 110 pounds. These are theropods, meaning they belong to the ferocious group of dinosaurs such as the Velociraptor, T-Rex, and Spinosaurus, which further suggests that the Trudon are carnivorous. But their wounding tooth name comes from the fact that the Trudon's teeth are serrated in such a way that it hints at a herbivorous diet. Instead of the serrations running down the back of the teeth as seen in carnivores, they had serrations running alone along the side like herbivores. Thus, these dinosaurs are believed to have both the traits of a carnivore and an herbivore, sort of confirming their omnivorous nature. The Trudons got long legs with some deadly peculiarities, such as large claws and shock-absorbing wedges, allowing these creatures to run really fast. Another significant feature of the Trudon is that they have really large eyes, enabling nocturnal vision or even a binocular range of sight. Paleontologists discovered that the Trudon would curl up around their nests and lay eggs on the ground, similar to the Oviraptosaurus mentioned in the Jurassic World continuity. The Trudon appeared several times in dinosaur TV shows and documentaries, until it found a mention in Michael Crichton's 1995 novel, The Lost World. For those who need a refresher, the Jurassic Park franchise was created based on Michael Crichton's written works. Anyway, so in Jurassic Park lore, the Trudon made its debut in 1995 and then featured prominently in the 2015 video game Jurassic Park, the game, then the 2018 Jurassic World Evolution game, and then in the 2019 live theatrical show Jurassic World Live Tour. While the Trudon have been portrayed as less ferocious in the Evolution game and the Live Tour, they got a menacing twist in the 2015 video game. These Trudon looked disturbingly scary, with large, glow-in-the-dark eyes, unkempt protrusions jutting out of its head and running along the back, black and white patches on their body, some beard-like plates on its lower jaw, and a threateningly bipedal stance, paired with the ferocity of the Velociraptors. In addition, they were extremely poisonous, with a deathly overbite. In the game lore, the Trudon were among the many genetic experiments done for the dinosaur-themed Jurassic Park of John Hammond. But what it turned out was a beast designed to kill. John Hammond felt threatened to release the Trudon in his adventure park, and hence this breed was scrapped and ordered to be destroyed. A diary entry from scientist Lara Sorkin states how dangerous the Trudon turned out to be in these words. We knew they would be efficient predators, with grasping hands, binocular vision, and exceptionally large brains. We figured they might be nocturnal, but we had no idea about the stealth, the stalking, or the nightmarish poison. After the latest incident, John has deemed the Trudon a threat to his vision of the park. The Trudon were considered a threat primarily because of their extreme intelligence, their hunting style in packs, and the lethal venom they secreted in their mouths. They would incapacitate the prey with their venomous bite. 
The Trudon venom would cause the victim to experience mass sensations of pain, hallucinations, paralysis, high fever, and then eventual brain death. It was extremely difficult to anticipate a Trudon attack, as these nocturnal creatures would thrive in dark environments, such as the tunnel systems beneath Isla Nublar. Given their extreme stealth, the only sign of their approach would be a creepy clicking noise and their large, glowing eyes. But by the time one sees the Trudon eyes, it's already too late to escape their venomous bites. Despite John Hammond's instructions to obliterate this breed, the Trudon were secretly kept in quarantine pens under round-the-clock surveillance by Dr. Sorkin in the northeastern region of Isla Nublar, and they were set loose in the park when the computer programmer Dennis Nedry turned off the power grid. That's how they wreaked havoc in the game's storyline. The Trudon also hunted Nima Cruz of the Tunsi tribe, who inhabited the island before John Hammond's bioengineering company InGen forced them out to begin work on Jurassic Park. These deadly dinosaurs also attacked the mercenaries dispatched by InGen to extract the survivors of the Jurassic Park accident. By the year 1994, the Trudon either perished in the Isla Nublar or were killed by the cleanup crew, with their eggs subsequently destroyed, making a resurgence of this species seemingly impossible. Now, if you think producing venom and watching their prey agonize in pain are the scariest traits of these deathly beasts, then you are in for more surprises. The creepiest thing that the Trudon did was display a bizarre nesting behavior. After paralyzing the prey with venom, the Trudon would treat the prey, humans or other species, as living nests and lay eggs in their stomachs, seemingly using ovipositors. This observation prompted Dr. Sorkin to note that this sort of nesting behavior is usually only noted in insects. It remains unknown whether the Trudon were capable of infecting larger dinosaurs with their eggs, even though it was witnessed in the case of human prey. No wonder that other deadly dinosaurs, even the Velociraptor, were scared of the Trudon. This particular trait of harvesting other species to procreate offspring sounds alarmingly familiar, thanks to the alien franchise that introduced us to a bunch of terrifying, murderous, extraterrestrial xenomorphs which use humans as living nests for their embryo. The xenomorph queen would typically produce ovomorphs or eggs, which would hatch a parasitoid larval form of alien known as the facehuggers, which in turn would latch onto the face of a living host, human or other species, and impregnate the prey. After a gestation period of several hours, the embryo would burst out of the prey's torso as the chest burster alien and then eventually mature into an adult xenomorph. This explains why some might equate the Trudon of the Jurassic Park universe with the xenomorphs of the Alien franchise. Trudon their ominous hunting style. A single Trudon from a hunting pack would leap out, bite the prey and return to the group, while the rest of the pack waited for the venom to take effect and the prey to be incapacitated. Their hunting style of surrounding the prey in a pack, poisoning them, waiting for the prey to be paralyzed and then infecting them with eggs, displays extreme intelligence. As we mentioned before, the Trudon were smaller creatures compared to other dinosaurs, and hence they did not necessarily focus on overpowering their prey with strength. The biggest concern while facing a Trudon threat was not that they would launch multiple assaults, but was getting surrounded by the pack, which was depicted terrifyingly in Jurassic Park, the game. Trudon, a horrifying blend of the deadliest dinosaur traits. Let's just say the Trudon are a cocktail of the most terrifying factors of the most terrifying dinosaurs. They got the pack hunting style and the ferocity of the Velociraptor, which were intelligent dinosaurs that were able to outsmart humans as well. The Trudon would use their teeth and venom to paralyze the victims and then tear them apart, which is also what the Velociraptor did so by clawing and ripping out their victims. The Trudon also resembled the raptor, like Compsognathus, or Compis in nature, that is, they appeared harmless until they went on an eating spree. With their tendency to sneak up on the prey and surround them, the Trudon reminds us of the compies from the Lost World, Jurassic Park, such as when they targeted a kid and then attacked the hunter Dieter Stark. Interestingly, the Jurassic Park novel by Michael Crichton mentions that the compies had venomous bites, just like the Trudon did. Comparing Trudon to the Xenomorph, a frightening face-off, intelligent opponents, battle of the brains, the Trudon, with literal big brains, 
is said to be the most intelligent dinos of Jurassic Park lore, while the Xenomorph are highly intelligent creatures, both capable of adapting to new situations and outsmarting their opponents. In a bizarre theory, real-life paleontologist Dale Russell predicted that dinosaurs like the Trudon were capable of developing sapience had they not gone extinct and would have also turned bipedal. While this is an absolutely wacky idea, it speaks volumes about how intelligent the Trudon were evaluated to be. Whereas the intelligence of the Xenomorphs comes from their survival and hunting instincts, they learn quickly and make advantageous use of their environment. The Queen Alien displays a higher level of intelligence, being able to manipulate human technology to some extent. All these factors make a potential confrontation between a Trudon and a Xenomorph alarmingly terrifying. Deadly Efficiency Hunting Strategies Compared, the Trudon have a pack hunting strategy, while the Xenomorphs use a parasitic approach towards their prey. Both are masters of stealth, but an adult Xenomorph has the advantage of great physical strength over the Trudon. The Xenomorph's preferred method of attack is camouflaging and waiting for the prey to be close enough, then impaling them with their tail or just dropping behind them. The Trudon, however, are patient with their approach waiting for the prey to be incapacitated after infecting them with their venomous bite. The ultimate nightmare fuel. Which creature is more terrifying? While the xenomorphs can scare the bejesus out of us and are incomparable on the scary meter, the glaring parallels between the aliens and the Trudon cannot really be missed. Both the Trudon and the xenomorphs are nightmarish creatures in their own universes. The Trudon's extreme intelligence pack hunting, venomous bite, and nesting behavior sound as scary as a xenomorph leaping out of the dark and impregnating its prey. If faced with the choice between a room with a xenomorph or a trudon, most of us would desperately search for a third option, any option, because survival is unlikely with either of these lethal beasts. Marvelous Verdict The Trudon are Jurassic Park's overlooked terror. The Trudon are one of the most intelligent dinosaurs out there, ones that have a venomous bite and use humans as living nests, making them one of the scariest incarnations that came out of InGen's genetic tampering. And hence, its exclusion from all six Jurassic Park movies makes this dinosaur criminally underutilized. But there's always scope to introduce the Trudon on the big screen in a future production. We already know that an upcoming Jurassic Park movie is in the making, with names like Scarlett Johansson and Jonathan Bailey starring in. Maybe the Trudon can finally make its film debut in Jurassic Park canon, considering that it's unknown whether any of these beasts are still present on Isla Sorna, the very first island on which InGen started creating its dinosaurs. An eerie thought, right? Do you want to see this terrifying theropod on the big screen? Tell us what you think in the comments section below. We will come back with more dinosaur videos. Till then, watch your back and stay away from anything that glows a bit too menacingly in the dark. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.